And those first couple of months as a mom are so strenuous, especially because you are healing after giving birth. For me, I had an emergency C-section. Hey mamas, what's good? Name's Crystal, welcome to the channel and another episode of Let's Chat over coffee or like whatever you're feeling. I don't I mean, if you don't like coffee, that's totally fine. Maybe some tea, some margaritas. Maybe you need a break, mom. It's okay. This whole series is all about you and I sitting down, having whatever we want to drink and chatting about life and motherhood. Last week, we talked about my emergency C-section and today I want to talk about what it was like for me recovery wise after having a C-section. <laughs> We're going to be talking about what it was like those first couple moments after having surgery at the hospital and what how many days we were there. Then we're going to talk about those first couple of you know, moments at the house and what I did that I probably shouldn't have done and you shouldn't either. Then we're going to be talking about periods, the body, and the emotional toll that the whole experience gave me because I think it's really important that we focus on birth being an emotional thing that's going to stick with us for years to come and I think it's important that we talk about it. Sure, it's nice and hot, your coffee, a tea, or that margarita is heavy poured. Let's go. Last week we left off when I woke up and was wheeled into the uh, recovery room after having the C-section to see my son for the first time. Finally getting that skin to skin in that I was so desperately wanting. I don't notice the pain. Obviously I'm coming down from like the anesthesia and all the medications they gave me during surgery. We get wheeled up to the mommy baby ward and stuff and we're just kind of hanging out for a day. My family gets to come see the baby. I'm still kind of in the hospital bed. We're not really like getting up or anything like that. I think it was like a full day of me in the bed. This was probably the most difficult thing to do. Getting up, moving around, and not having access to your abdomen. I had to use all my upper body strength, which I didn't have any because I just don't have upper body strength. Laughing was extremely difficult. Standing up was even harder. My husband would try to crack jokes, everyone, and I'd be like, oh my god, stop. I would have to hold a pillow to my stomach because it hurt so bad, even though, like, just laughing. If I was sitting there not doing anything, I didn't have much pain. I was able to like get up out of the bed. My, the nurse helps me go to the bathroom because you, you need someone with you. You're gonna be very disoriented. You haven't been standing up for a while and you also were in a st um, the epidural and stuff. So you're kind of like wobbly. The nurse was so sweet. She helped me out. She like set up like the mesh underwear that you get from the hospital. Man, was I bleeding a lot. It was a lot of blood. You know, doing a C-section, I didn't I expect that. I didn't expect there to be a lot of blood. Now I don't know in comparison to regular birth whether or not it's a lot but you bleed because of the everything's contracting back down to size. I think it was like three days after being in the hospital we were and we ended up being able to leave to go home. Like the first thing that I did when I got home was laundry. You just had your abdomen like sliced open and you're just you're doing laundry? We have laundry to do and I need to do laundry. I had my husband like bring stuff downstairs but I was like walking around like not really resting like I should have been. And guys, I paid for it the next day. I was in so much pain the next day. The bleeding was so much more. Just don't do that. But when you come home, you have to take it easy. Our bedroom's up some stairs, so I had to go upstairs. And typically, I would just kind of hang out in the in the bedroom, really, for like that first week. Uh, my husband kind of set up a stool next to our bed because I could not get into the bed at all otherwise because it's pretty high. I also had a pregnancy pillow that I used during pregnancy, which was actually quite uncomfortable. I'm not, I wasn't a huge fan of it during the pregnancy part. It was so much easier just to have like a regular pillow between my legs. I'm just saying, I don't think you need to buy no fancy pillow. Maybe I just didn't buy the right one. It was like the highly rated one. I don't know, I don't know. But that came in handy for breastfeeding later on because of the C-section. So I would wrap it around me into this like big donut or whatever. I would sit my son on the pillow and then like breastfeed him kind of like leaning forward a little bit. It relieved that pressure off the stomach so he wasn't like laying on my body. I would say that I took it easy for about two weeks in total, um, but I definitely tried to stay upstairs for the majority of the time for that first week um, because going up and down the stairs really, I mean, it was it was difficult for me to move as well as the, the pain that you would get like shortly after it. Like you'd be like, oh yeah, I went down the stairs, totally fine. Then it's like, no. Going down the stairs now, I'm I'm paying for it. <laughs> bleeding, like we, you're gonna bleed after, in your recovery process. You can get some diapers. I had a few, but I, the bleeding wasn't that bad. I could just use kind of like a heavy pad. I think they told me not to use like tampons or anything like that, just because everything's like trying to heal up and stuff. I would talk to your doctor about that. Bleeding was about maybe two to three weeks 
of that and it wasn't very very heavy the whole time it like obviously started to taper off kind of was like a period towards the end and speaking of period i got mine like two to three months after having a child i like went right back into cycle like right after that so i i don't know maybe that's because i had a c-section i have no idea period cramps stomach pain from c-section it was an experience, okay? Oh, if you guys are finding this video helpful or if you're liking this story or this coffee chat session or whatever, give me a thumbs up because it helps me out. It also lets me know that you like the video. So hit that like button. Let's talk body. So obviously a lot happens with your whole body in the recovery process of a C-section. For me, I've got a couple of things that I wanna talk about because I don't know if it happens for everybody, but it definitely happened to me. So my body felt weird. I obviously had to adjust. You can't use your stomach at all. And if you don't realize like how much you use the muscles in your abdomen when you can't use them. I couldn't really walk around that much. I couldn't sit up. I had to have help doing everything. To help with this, I started wearing like a belly wrap, like a belt. Um, make sure that it covers like your hip and bone, like your hip bone area and like goes over the scar instead of being at the very end. Man, I've had, there were so many times it would like ride up the stomach and then that bottom part of the belt would just rub against the C-section scar and it would just hurt so, so bad. And I wore the belt for a while. I just did not have the core strength. Um, I probably should have started doing some workouts to help with that so that way the core was a little, it could get back to normal because obviously things were stretched out. I wore that belt for a while. I'll see if I can try to find something similar on Amazon. Um, but the one that was given, to, was given to me at my shower was from another mom who used it during her C-section. Said like, this was a game changer for me. It helped me walk around. And I'm telling you guys, it made a huge difference when I wasn't wearing it. I couldn't do anything. Like I just felt like I'm a noodle. Put the belt on. I felt more in control. It, was all, it also took the pressure off the muscles in that in the stomach that allowed me to then like move around and be like a normal a normal human being. Also too, like even after like I was like maybe four or five months later, I was still kind of wearing like tummy underwear. Let like just had a little bit of like coverage on the tummy area just because I didn't want like any underwear like riding up against or rubbing up against the the scar. So I didn't have a lot of feeling in that area uh, right after surgery. And the stitches that were used on me were kind of like these dissolvable ones. Um, the ones on the outer layer of the skin were ones that the doctor had to take out. Or, no, 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 they were strips. They use dissolvable stitches underneath in like the muscle area and stuff, which I could feel, okay, like where the knot was on this side of my body, I could feel the knot. Like you could rub my stomach and you could feel the knot where the uh, the stitch was and it, it hurt. It was quite uncomfortable. The doctor told me that was because I didn't have a lot of stomach fat right there. And she was like, well, I have to use that like stronger, you know, thing because obviously it's your abdominal wall. So we, we need a really strong, sturdy stitch in there. So that's why you probably can feel that knot. It was very uncomfortable. I think I felt it for like maybe two months or so. And then it slowly started to dissolve and now it's like completely gone. I don't, it's not even there. And then on the outside, they gave me like sticky tape strips across my scars. I use Mederma on it a little bit. Um, also some like other scar type creams and things like that. Then eventually I just got lazy and just stopped doing that. So, but it looks pretty good for me, I think. So obviously after birth, I just wasn't comfortable with my body. I just felt so out of sorts. Like, who am I? What is this body that I'm in? What is this scar that I now have? I just didn't feel like me. I didn't feel sexy. I felt kind of worn down and that's really where the emotional toll comes in you know i think every mom goes through some sort of experience obviously our hormones are completely out of whack like right afterwards you're breaking up with your old self you're becoming a new person as a mom who is now refocusing everything like it was all about me you know i was focused on doing everything for me and now it's all about my kid now and like everything about my body is now his like he had to grow in me he now gets fed by me it just it was a lot it was stressful it wore me down was i depressed probably everything that i was feeling was normal so nothing really warranted like therapy although I, looking back i wish i wish i went to therapy because there's just so much that needs to be talked about and addressed when it comes to your postpartum recovery still think i have a lot of improvement to go in my mental health uh following that even though it's been two years but guys i i, I mean that, i think that's normal that's normal if you're ever feeling the need to talk to somebody please do call your call your doctor please don't ever hesitate to reach out and get help because i think i think now with the world the way it is i couldn't imagine going through postpartum during a pandemic you mamas are strong as you are rocking it
you are rocking it. All right, now I know we talked about a lot <laughs> and it's just throwing it all at you. Obviously, this is my experience, but I hope it gives you some insight as to what may or may not happen in your recovery after having a C-section. Don't do laundry when you get home because that's just dumb. Crystal, why did you do that? I'm still kind of like mad about myself at myself about it because the pain really was a problem. You need to take it easy when you get home. Get home, relax, chill, embrace your baby, let daddy do everything and then clean it up later, like two weeks later, because you know they didn't do it right. It's okay. Sorry, I love you, honey. Uh -huh. If you have any questions or you want to share what your recovery experience is like, how did your scar heal up, what kind of stitches were you given, all of that stuff, please run on down to the comment section and let me know down there. I want to know, I want to share those experiences with you guys and just kind of get a better understanding of C-sections, because if we do have another kid, I don't know, I mean, I think I can have, C I can have regular birth, but I'm not really sure. Obviously, I have to talk to the doctor. I can't just like speculate. But if you guys know, let me know. Did you have a C-section and then have a regular birth like later on? Let me know. Comment down below. Since I was about to say goodbye to you guys, my son woke up. So if the lighting's off, sorry. It's just what happens. Don't forget to smash that like button. Let me know you like this video. Thumbs it up. Thumbs it up. Next week we're talking about breastfeeding and it was not a great experience for me. And I want to share all the tidbits with you. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Until then, all that matters is that you make your kids smile. You've got this mama. I'll see you next week. Cheers. I'm like wobbling into the bathroom like this. Huh? 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 What? Crystal, you need to calm down. You're a little, just too much caffeine this morning, a little too enthusiastic about coffee chats. I really am lonely in pandemic and it just makes me feel really good to sit down and have a chat with you guys about those first few, you know, months of motherhood that are just so strenuous to deal with.